will have enough moisture to keep the cloudiness in place for at least some areas. And within some of those clouds, we can gather enough moisture to cause a few sprinkles. Heaviest rain stays well to the north of the region. That's where thunderstorms are a little more active as well. But the evening and nighttime forecast and focus pattern does show the overlay of scattered to numerous cloud areas and perhaps a couple spots of very light sprinkles right around sunrise or thereabouts. That could also be coupled with a bit of fog. There's a minor disturbance well north of the region that may help to support the overall 20% coverage of mostly light sprinkles, even through the portions of the afternoon tomorrow. So it's not going to be a washout. There's going to be no storms. But if you happen to get rain tomorrow, consider yourself fortunate because we'll go into a couple days where it's going to be drier and hotter. But tonight we'll drop to a low of 64 with patches of cloud cover. We'll keep that chance for a few sprinkles in the picture as well as some isolated areas of fog. 88 tomorrow, the clouds will break. We'll still have a general mix in the afternoon and maybe a couple showers here and there that can cool you down, but the rain activity just not substantial. We lose any kind of rain threat for the end of the week in your extended first alert forecast. And as a result, we will likely still tap into that 90 degree mark for highs. Thursday through Saturday appear to be the warmest of the next several days. We could see maybe lower 90s in the Suwannee Valley and mid 80s at the coast. Morning lows staying in the 60s. But there is a front on the way. It can spread a few showers on Sunday. Right now, lower end rain chances. But there is a little more signal that we could see a stronger front push through. So a little more consistency in a lowering of temperatures early next week. Still above average, but at least closer to 80 rather than 90.